What's up, people? Yes, I know. I'm not in the garage, so Fabio is not here. So, here's the full 15-second clip or more. I don't remember. 15-second clip of Fabio in the Old Spice commercial. Fabio! I gotta give the people what they want. They're not here for me. They're here for Fabio. I know. But there is something that I opened off camera. Because it has nothing to do with pops or anything. But I do want to show it off. Because because the shirt. I got the Golden Girls cookbook. <laughs> I'm going to have to make a ton of recipes from this thing and show them off. <laughs> got the Golden Girls cookbook. That was it. That's all I really wanted to show. Everything else in this video is going to be an autographed item. So I'm very excited about that. Obviously, you know, I collect autographs, so I'm excited. Let's start with the one that I already know. I mean, I already know what everything is except for the mystery box behind me. Uh, let's start out with the one that I had to open to see what it was because I forgot. <laughs> but now I remember because I'm looking at it. And it's very cool. It's a very cool thing. I mean, the pop itself is very cool, um, but it is also an autograph. And I got it for a really good price. Okay. I got it for PPG, so the autograph was free, basically, which is super cool. And, well, there, there goes the tape. Get out of here, tape. I will get this eventually. There we go. Nope. Very well, very well packaged, very well taped up. We've got, from the man himself, we've got Cutie Corn, which is very cool. Uh, this is a pop I wanted anyway. And it is signed by the creator of Cutie Corn. I bought it straight from him. Very cool. He gave me a good deal on it. And uh, he signed it to me. I mean, his name is Jacob. My name is Jacob. So we're friends. I know it says Jake because that's what I go by. But we're friends. We're friends because we're named, we're Jake buddies. <laughs> but this is very cool. Um, he has his Instagram handle on there. Mr. Collect It, I believe it is. It's, it's right there. So if I said it wrong, I don't think I did. But if I said it wrong... There it is. It's a Funko Hollywood exclusive. Very cool. A pop I wanted anyway. Even Made even cooler by the man who created it, signing it himself. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Not him, but that, that's, his, that's all his stuff. Cool. Very cool. I'm super happy to finally uh, add something, add that pop alone. Um, but to add the autograph is ten times better. This is from Nerdy Newt. Um, it is a little past Halloween time, but, uh, this one would have fit, uh, this one would have fit in the Halloween time spirits, but it's past Halloween. I'm going to open it anyway. I've, <laughs> I didn't have it around Halloween time, but I probably, I've had it for a little while now, to be honest. I've had it for quite some time. It is in a protector. So is the other one. Uh, the, the cutie corn was in a protector too. Very cool. Ooh. That is cool. This is Bob Elmore limited edition signature series from the Nerdy Newt. Very cool. This is a, this is a great looking autograph. Whoop, whoop. Almost threw it across the room. Fumbled it a little. But yeah, look at that. That's very sweet. Um, Bob Elmore, he played, um, he played Leatherface in one of the older, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacres, I don't remember which one, but he has played Leatherface. That is obviously why he's signing this pop. I don't know why he would otherwise, but he did play Leatherface. I think he was a stuntman for it, which means he was a good, one of the guys behind the mask. It gets kind of dicey when you talk about who played these guys, because I have uh, up up here, I don't, you can't see it, but up here I have a uh, Michael Myers signed by one of the stuntmen who did technically play Michael Myers because they're non-speaking characters. So if you're a stuntman... Make your money by signing these pops because the stuntmen did play these characters, technically. I mean, they, they're doing most of the work. The other guy's probably just walking around. Then <laughs> the stuntmen are doing all the work. So, very cool. Bob Elmore. Beckett authenticated, too. And it is, uh, this has got a little uh, limited edition 50 pieces thing. Nerdy Newt sticker. Not that that really matters. It's like a manufactured limited edition, basically. Kind of like 7 bucks Pop does. But I love them. I don't care. 
I love limited things, and even if it's like fake limited, I still love it. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, very cool. Very cool. Nice, uh, nice little Halloween pop while we approach Christmas. <laughs> I don't know when it's coming out. Maybe Christmas time is like next week or something. It's not for me right now, but who knows? Who knows when Christmas is for for you now? Um, I'm excited for Christmas. Uh, are you excited for Christmas? Because I'm super excited for Christmas. This is from Savage Pops. It feels like more things, uh, but I did only order two things. I think. <laughs> as far as I know, I only ordered two things, but maybe they're just like heavily, heavily wrapped. That's what it looks like. Yeah, they're just heavily, heavily packaged up, which is good. I would much rather that than anything else. I would rather them be heavily wrapped as opposed to not well wrapped at all. There's so much wrapping. Oh. All right. Sorry for the paper noise. I can't help it. I can't help it. Oh my goodness. There's so much bubble wrap too. Can't tell who it is because there's so much bubble wrap. I love it. Thank you, Savage Pop. I appreciate the incredible packing job. Oh, in, in the, they're both in hard stacks, too, which is very cool. I like putting my autographs in hard stacks, so that's uh, less work for me. <laughs> that's great. Uh, so, I won one of these, and the other one was a nice uh, little giveaway win from them in the same auction. There's so much bubble wrap. I love it. All right, so we get their sticker. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that sticker. It's a little little fox, I guess, or a little dog. Maybe a little dog. I like that. Uh, so the first one, we've got ECCC CCCC official con sticker, The Deep, signed by the man who I don't remember his name, Chase something, I think. I don't remember his name, um, but boom. Oh, hold on. There we go. Uh, I am not... I, I try to avoid super naughty words i'll say shit sometimes just because i mean come on everybody poops right but you see what it says you can read it's one of the funniest scenes in that whole of uh, the whole season i think it was season two of the boys <laughs> when he's uh dealing with like a cult or whatever very funny when i saw this i don't have the eccc con sticker version anyway so before i was rudely interrupted by my phone just deciding to stop in the middle of a recording this was the last thing i was showing off um the weird thing is it said it kept recording but it didn't because uh, uh, there's half of it's gone so who knows <laughs> storage probably because iphones are the worst but this is what i was talking about i was talking about the deep uh, but I opened up a bunch of other, of other stuff uh, off camera now because uh, screw you iPhones, you stupid assholes. But um, during that auction, I don't know if I said that I want to pop during the other video, whatever. I don't know if I said I did, but I did. I want to pop. Um, two other people did not show up when they called their names for the giveaway. Uh, and I was the third name called. So I got to pick one of two pops. The other one was the one of the dudes from... The dude that isn't Ralph Macchio from uh, the Karate Kid. The, the other one. I don't remember his name. I haven't seen Karate Kid in ever. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen Karate Kid. Don't chastise me, internet. Sorry. But we've got Danny Trejo as Jaguar. Also an ECCC exclusive, funny enough. Um, no matter what, I, would, I was going to choose this. Come on. It's Danny Trejo. Danny Trejo is a legend. He seems, from what I've heard, he's like one of the nicest dudes ever, which is wild because he's like a former criminal, which is, it's crazy stuff. But I picked Danny Trejo out of those two. I love Danny Trejo. I think he's a great actor. Well, he's a great actor for what he does. <laughs> I mean, he's the same character in every movie. I mean, he literally plays himself in Spy Kids. But uh, yeah, we got Danny Trejo as Jaguar from, his, uh, from Rick and Morty. I believe this is the only pop that portrays Danny Trejo. I could be wrong about that, but I'm not 100% sure. I think this is it, uh, but it is very cool. And they, uh, I think I mentioned it, they both came in hard stacks, which is very cool. I appreciate that, Savage Pops. Go check them out on Whatnot. Um, that's pretty much it. Thank you for this. Thank you for the deep. That was great. Um, so, I did open a mystery box in the time it took for the iPhone to just be like, no, 
you can't have any of this that I that I said I was recording. You can't have any of it. I mean, I got some of it. I got some of the, I got like the first chunk. But uh, I opened a mystery box in the meantime. It was uh, from Zobi.com, shopzobi.com, I believe it is. Uh, Zobi Productions, whatever. All that. I mean, that's their website. You know, you get it. You get it. You understand. And it was a Space Jam mystery box. It was an autographed Space Jam mystery box. And they specifically said that it was the old Space Jam, which is very important to me because I love that movie. The new one was whatever. It wasn't very good, but it wasn't like super offensive to me either. Like as a fan of the old one, it was fine. It was watchable, but like, it's not the same. There were a lot of cool cameos in the, uh, in the new one. That was cool. I liked that, but it's nothing compared to the original. So there were, uh, there was an autographed pop, an autographed, um, jersey and then a mystery item let's start with the mystery I, I already know what it is none of it's a mystery to me anymore but it's still a mystery to you so let's start with the mystery item it was a uh, small tin sign of my favorite character my favorite looney tune right here marvin the martian why is that my favorite looney tune you may ask that's my dad's name marvin's my dad's name so that's my favorite one right there also i'm not a huge looney tunes guy in general so i had to pick one there you go. There he is. There's Martian. The Marvin the Martian right there. Tin sign. I don't know if I need to rush or anything because I don't know if this is going to cut me off again. We'll see. <laughs> Guess we'll see. Um, so we'll do... We'll do the pop first, I guess. So the pop is uh, Taz from the original Space Jam. Uh, I expected in the other video that you will never see... Um, I contemplated that it could either be Taz or Billy West. Uh, Bugs... Bugs is Billy West, and Taz is D. Baker, uh, because those are the two cheapest pops that can be acquired from this set. Uh, I was right, and it was D. Baker. It was Taz, as D, or D. Baker as Taz. Very cool. I already have a Billy West signed Space Jam pop, so this is awesome. I'm very happy to add this. I'm glad it wasn't Billy West, because I already have that one. Um, so... Let's get on to the jersey, which is what I opened as soon as uh, the it went wild. Like, as soon as it went, like, no, you're, you're, this is not a thing anymore. So, um, I, I wish I had reactions for you. I don't. Because <laughs> it, 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 it was just like, yeah, no, it, not today. You, you, you can't have this. So, I opened up the jersey. And it was Billy West. <laughs> it was Bugs Bunny as Billy West. Which is totally fine, because it's not on a pop. The only thing I would have been bummed out about is if this was on the pop, because I already have one. Sure, I would have been able to make some of my money back, whatever. That's not a problem for me. I don't do it for the money. I do it because I want autographs. <laughs> so, we got Billy West as Bugs on the jersey. Very cool. I speculated that it could be, like, Wayne Knight or something, but because he's not, like, a super expensive autograph. But Billy West, I mean, that's that's perfectly fine. Because he's a he's a probably a hundred plus dollar autograph roughly, um, depending on who you go through I suppose. Um, but I just already have one, so that's the only reason I didn't want another one. But since it's on a jersey, it's a completely different item um, than a pop, obviously. So I'm totally happy with this. I'm very happy with this. D Baker and and Billy West, that's great. Uh, I think that's fantastic. Um, I think the value of it. I paid one hundred and twenty five dollars for this box. I think that's perfect. Like I think that was right on. Uh, or even under I, I think that might even be under what what these are worth to me at least I mean I got an autograph pop I didn't have and then I got a sweet jersey sweet tune squad bugs jersey that's very cool I'm happy with that bugs was obviously it's not gonna be it was 125 bucks it's not gonna be Michael Jordan it's not gonna be Bill Murray like you know come on you, you had to be realistic I didn't even think it'd be Billy West so I I think that's very cool D Baker and Billy West coming out of this box Where's the, where's the, where is he, where's the guy? D. Baker, Billy West, cool autographs from Space Jam. Wish I had the original reactions for you, but I super don't because iPhones suck, I guess. I don't know. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, but we got it now and that's going to be it because I don't know if this is going to cut off again. So I want to end it. Betty White is immortal. Goodbye.